Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked and today I'm gonna be trying to make an universal tutorial, actually a more of a multi-purpose one. So in this video I will show you how to update your current firmware on your Galaxy S8 to the latest Oreo 1 from Samsung. By updating it to the latest one, you will be also able to unbreak your device. So if you have problems with your Galaxy S8 not booting or receiving fail in Odin, or I don't know, maybe other software problems, false closes and so on and so forth, you will be able to solve them by following this tutorial step by step. At the end, your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus will be fully functional. Now, let's get to the Wicked Whiteboard in order to show you some uh, of the important information you'll need to be aware of before getting uh, into this tutorial and follow it step by step. It is important to say that this video is user-friendly. If you don't have the knowledge of flashing stock firmwares or flashing custom ROMs or modding your device, then at the end of the video you won't only have your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus fixed, but also you'll have a variety of knowledge gained from this tutorial so that you can do it by yourself again without watching this uh, video in the future. Okay guys, so as I told you, welcome to the Wicked Board, where I will tell you the prerequisites you need to be aware of before following this tutorial. So as I told you, this video is gonna be a multi-purpose one. The first purpose it will fulfill is the firmware update one. Now, all of you guys ask me that if my um, device has um, a stock firmware on it, Nox hasn't been on trip, it is fully stocked as it came from the factory and I followed this tutorial, will it void my warranty? And the answer is no. Um, but if your device has been already tripped, then this tutorial by flashing stock firmware won't really help you gaining your warranty back. Your Nox will still be tripped since the electronic fuse once it's tripped, you can't do anything to get it back. The second purpose of this video is strongly related to the first one, the firmware update it will actually result in unbreaking your device so that's the second purpose and uh, I have to tell you some of the symptoms of a bricked device the symptoms are that when your device can't really boot up or um, that you have a um, wrong bootloader on your device and Odin keeps on saying fail at whatever file you're trying to flash or maybe you have tons and tons of false closes and the safest and the easiest way to get rid of them will be to update it to a new version of Android since more of the applications will be updated to the latest one. Now talking about the supported devices, there are two major categories your device may be in. It benefits either of an Exynos chipset or a Snapdragon one. Snapdragon ones are especially in the US and they have locked bootloaders. So these are the specified models this tutorial may cover. Now, another prerequisite that you'll need to take into consideration are the following. The first thing you'll need to be sure of is that your phone is charged at least 50% because you don't want your device to be turned off during a flashing process resulting in another break of your device. You also need to make sure that download mode is accessible. You have to power off your device and then hold down volume down Bixby and power key all three together in order to access download mode. You may or may not make an internal backup, although I strongly recommend you to do it, because later on in this tutorial you'll see that you'll have to make a decision, whether you want to wipe your device or not. I strongly recommend you to wipe your device, and by wiping your device your internal backup will be wiped, and that's why I recommend you to backup your internal storage to your personal computer. Another crucial prerequisite is that your Odin, which you're gonna be flashing uh, the firmware with, has to be at least 3.13.0 or later. If you're watching this video from the future, then you need to make sure your Odin version is later than 3.13.0. So 3.13.1 is great for following this tutorial. I will switch to my personal computer right now so that I will show you the steps you'll need to follow in order to complete this tutorial. So, okay guys, into some firmware application, you will need to know two major things you'll need to enter actually into the form below. The model of your device and the region. The model is really important because if you flash another model's female on your device, I don't think it will work in the first time, but if it works, it will actually break it again. So that's not point doing it. You'll need to know the model of your device. How you can know, how you can find out the model? Well, you can search for it on the bottom of your Galaxy S8 box if you have it. It's For me, it says, 
SM, which stands for Samsung Minus G950F. So after you found out the model, now it's time for you to check the region of the firmware you're gonna be flashing uh, in the following moments. So the region is the country, uh, the location where the firmware was released by Samsung. And how do you find that? You just have to access sammobile.com as you can see here and you can search your modal number. My modal number is SM-G950F just click it, search it. So here you'll get to the latest firmware page when you will have, you'll notice tons and tons of firmwares. Now it is important to get the latest one specific for your country. You just click on the northern countries and as you may see in this parenthesis it says NEE -E, which is the region you'll need to put down here. So if you put NEE -E, and set it to auto, take care by default it's set to manual, but set it to auto and then click check update. And you can see it says checking firmware for SM and it found a firmware. That's the specific firmware from here. But in my case, I will search for DBT and also DBT region. Checking firmware for DBT and it also found a firmware for the DBT region. If you have the Snapdragon variant, all you have to do is to delete the app and write U for your specific model. And then let's say you are from Verizon. I think the Verizon is VZW, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. So you'll get a uh, file, a firmware for Verizon, for your Snapdragon model. So yeah, that's how you download the latest firmware for your specific model, for your specific region. In order to get the firmware, all you have to do is to click download and then select the folder you want to download it in. I selected stuff. And now you'll just have to wait for the firmware to download and then I'll get back to you guys so that I will show you how to flash this firmware really fast and effective on your Galaxy S8 with Odin. So stay tuned. You'll get a zip which you'll have to extract into this folder and here you'll get five major files. Now, just follow up these instructions with me and you'll end up having your Galaxy S8 fully repaired. Now, how do you get into download mode? You just have to press the volume down button, the Bixby key, along with the power button. Hold them. And now, as you can see, you'll be in download mode. It says warning a custom OS can cause critical problems, so on and so forth. All you have to do is to press volume up to continue. And right now you are into download mode. Once into download mode, you'll just have to open Odin on the PC. Now all you have to do is to connect your USB Type-C cable to your phone, just like this. And as you can see, here at ID.com, it says 0.com and then into the lock section it says added. If it doesn't say like that, then that means your drivers aren't installed on your personal computer for the Galaxy S8. You'll just wait to, what about um, maybe one minute, two minutes in order to get them installed. And then it should say added here. Do not proceed to the next step until you see added here. This is a port where the Galaxy S8 is connected to your computer. So this is mandatory in order to flash something on it. So it established a bus, a connection between the PC, the, your personal computer and the device itself. So. Right now, as you can see here, there are five sections. We're not going to use all of them. We'll, not, we'll use the first four. So you'll just have to press BL in order to get into the bootloader section. That's what B BL stands for. And just get, get into the uh, folder when you download the firmware into. Here it says BL. So you'll have to match this BL with the, that BL button there. As you can see, it's loaded up. The AP also loaded here. Then it is, is going to be taking a while because the AP file is actually uh, big. Your Odin will also be not responding for a while, so don't bother it. It, it is just loading the application inside because it's kind of, I don't, I don't think 
it's kind of a, a big file. It is, yeah, it is almost three and a half gigs. So we'll just have to wait. Uh, as you can see, it finished loading up the file. Then into the CP, you'll have to put the CP. I think this is the modem, the baseband version. And this is really important because I told you that you have two options. You either wipe your device after flashing this firmware or you're not. So in my case, and I highly recommend you do the same, I will wipe it. Why is that? Um, all the firmware may contain some bugged out files, may contain also deteriorated files, uh, may contain some bad errors. So in order to get rid of those, all you have to do is to wipe everything. Just wipe everything and put the new firmware uh, back on just like a fresh new um, taste of spring, for example. So you just have to put those new firmware first uh, after you delete everything that was before. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Now if you choose to keep all your files and your applications and your data, you need to know that you may end up having some false closes if you upgrade from a uh, lower version of Android to a new, a brand new one. For example, if I update from 7.0 to 8.0, you may get tons of false closes if you import all the data from that operating system to this new version of it. So that's why I always recommend making a fresh new installation in terms of firmware purposes. So into the CSE, that's so important. If you choose the simple CSC, then your device will be wiped out. All your data will be lost. Everything will be lost. And uh, if you choose home CSC, then your data will be preserved. You will have all your applications, all your data on your device. So as I told you, I'm going to wipe my device. So I'm going to choose the CSC file here. Everything is set as it should be. As you can see, everything loaded up perfectly. My device is connected to Odin and in the options, you'll have to have it like that. Auto reboot, F reset time, everything. You don't have to mess with the PIT file here. Everything should be as it looks onto my uh, personal computer. So after you make sure that everything is like this, please make sure you double tick them, the files and everything. All you have to do is just click start. And here, um, I'm going to be talking about the fail thing um, the Odin will give you if there is a problem with your bootloader, especially this error will uh, encounter when there is a problem with your bootloader and your bootloader is kind of wrecked out. So you'll get here into the Odin a fail and an um, red underline color, fail. Now, if you want to bat, if you want to bypass that uh, fail um, error, you'll have to watch my video into the card section, in which I will show you the procedure in order to bypass that. Just the procedure, not the files I will flash. So the procedure is pretty simple. I will list the uh, steps right into the wicked whiteboard right now. So you, you'll need to be aware of that in order to bypass that fail button. Um, all you have to do is to, before you start flashing the device, you'll need to have auto reboot as I told you. And after you get fail, your device will auto reboot. But in the same time after it reboots, you'll just have to get into download mode again by pressing the same combination, the volume down, the Bixby key and the power key in order to get back into Odin, into download mode on your device and also into Odin. Now. Since it says fail, you are able to press start again with all the files loaded without having to load them again and it will bypass that fail, um, that fail error and will eventually flash the files or the firmware you want to flash on your device. So that's how you bypass that uh, error, that uh, fail error in Odin. It's a pretty simple way and I know it's pretty dumb, but uh, Samsung just want to make this uh, like this. Yeah, we don't have anything to do about it instead, apart from uh, having those steps really followed closely. And um, it's really a tricky maneuver, if you ask me, because after the rebooting process will uh, finish, you may or may not be able to get fastly into download mode and you'll have to start the process again. So it's really important to have your device in mind in order to follow these steps uh, closely.
So as you can see, my firmware is now flashing on my device. You have here also a uh, progress bar which shows you how much of the firmware is left to be flashed on your device. And yeah, we're, we're about to, to, to get to the end. And I'll get back to you after my device uh, reboots and it will boot up with the new firmware. Eventually yours will be fixed and that's a great um, idea. So I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I promised to get back after my device booted up. And as you can see, it booted up perfectly. There are no problems working perfectly and as you can see here, I don't know if you can clearly see, but I'm running Android 0.0. Let me focus. Android 0.0 Oreo, as I told you and showed you on my personal computer. So yeah, that was pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope your device got out of the boot loop of everything wrong with it, booted up perfectly on Oreo, you successfully updated your firmware, and uh, that was all I wanted to show you about this tutorial and the steps you'll need to follow in order to unbreak and update the firmware on your Galaxy S8. Please take in mind that this video took uh, kind of a lot of time and I really appreciate if you leave a like and a subscribe, uh, write down and activate the bell notification icon. Until next time, I plan for the next time for the next video to show you how to install TWRP on Oreo and then flash a custom ROM along with root. So stay tuned to this channel in order to see that. This was Wicked. Until next time, as always, thank you for watching. Take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.